Well, good day and welcome to this ape in the episode of the move from our now fully vacated plot, which is about 100 metres away down the site, to this plot where I'm sitting now. I'm sitting in the shed, obviously, which is directly next to our original plot that we've got. So now we have two half plots. So effectively, we have a whole plot, which is 10 rods. That hopefully is going to make maintaining things an awful lot um, easier than than it was splitting between the, the two plots we had last year and the year before, particularly as they, they were quite a, a way apart. So today is really coming to a job which I've sort of been putting off. Um, I've not been putting it off because I don't want to get it done. I've been putting it off because I thought there were other things that were more of a priority, which are now done. So today is going to be about getting the fruit bed ready. It has an edge to it already, which you will have seen in previous episodes. And um, what I'm going to be doing today is exactly what I've done with the with the others. I'm going to be moving it away, leveling it down a bit, putting down cardboard. But because we're in lockdown at the moment, I don't have any compost. I can't go to the uh, riding stables to get compost. So what I've decided to do is leave the gooseberries, the blackberry, the raspberries and any other soft fruit that we do have. I'm going to leave them in their pots for this year and just sit them on top of that cardboard. The cardboard will obviously suppress the, the weeds. The one plant that I am going to be putting in though is the blackberry that we have that I want to climb up the frame. So I'm going to be putting that in and then putting a collar of cardboard around it because I'd really like to get that growing this year. We've got a few other um, plants. We've got a kiwi and also is it lingonberry. I'm not sure. I'll have to check which um, I think are going to go in other places on that bed, but not necessarily in this video. I might do that in another video. So let me just go out there and show you what we're going to do. This is what we're working on today. It shouldn't take too long to do. Um, no, it shouldn't take too long to do. There are some plants in here. Sorry, long shadow, so you may see my shadow come into frame. There are some plants in here, here and here, which um, I'm going to be taking them out. They're verbascum. We've also got some old fruit. You see that? Old raspberry canes in here. The reason that I'm taking those out is they didn't do well last year. But if I just back up this area, which has got my shadow in it, this area is going to be our flower bed. So I'm also going to be cutting this down today. Now, I'm not going to take the root out. I'm just going to cut it down to the ground. The reason I'm not going to take the root out at the moment is I don't want to do myself an injury at this time of lockdown and need to go to A&E and you know get something sorted there so I'm just going to cut it down to the ground and then we're going to uh, put what are we going to do we're going to edge it but we're going to edge it it's not going to be like an edge bed like this it's just going to be cut into the ground for the time being I am going to leave some of the some raspberry canes along here and I'm going to leave those in at the moment. There's no need for me to take them out. So I'm going to... Oh, I've just noticed there's a bit of metal in there. Sorry, my shadow. Oh, God. An old rake. Why... I tell you what, it's really been a sort of a discovery thing doing this. An old rake. In fact, you know what? I think virtually a usable rake. Never mind. Right, I'm going to crack on 
there are some wildflowers in here. You can see some pulmonaria and some dead nettle. Um, we do have those elsewhere, so I'm not going to worry too much about that. I think there's a, there is, if you can see here, an aquilegia. I'm going to take that out. And then over there is some bramble. So that bramble is definitely going to come out. And where this is where I'm going to put the blackberry so that it climbs up here. It would be ideal if this post was at the edge here because then I could grow something up here and then grow something else up here. We'll have a look at that for the future. Right, I'm going to crack on. Right, there we are, three layers of cardboard down. There were quite a few perennial weeds in there after I'd strimmed, so I did take quite a few of them out, uh, brambles and just general perennials. So this is where the blackberry is going to go. I'm going to need to wet that cardboard and cut through it and put the blackberry in. Um, I did dig over the ground underneath, so it's quite, um, yeah, it's quite good under there. And once I've done that, I'll then just be pulling a, putting rather, a collar of cardboard around it. But I'm not, because we can't get to the riding stables, 
I'm not going to put any compost on here. I don't have any spare. I've got compost for seedlings, but not compost at the moment to put on top of here. So I'm just going to keep it like this and put other plants in their pots on top. I'm going to put another collar of cardboard around there. With this bed now in, this line can now be taken up and then I'm going to use it to mark out the flower border. well dead right here's my string my rope rather um, I've decided that this is an adequate walkway between the uh, flower bed which will be here and this fruit bed and if we come over here I'm not sure if you can see but there's a sort of depression here so I've decided to go inside of that depression and what I may do um, 
is on this side I may put some strawberries in they will most probably be in troughs so this is going to be the width of our flower bed and it's going to come to where the edge of this bed comes so I'm now going to mark that out It would help if my cord wasn't green, but it is. So I'm quite happy with that. It's better that way, isn't it? You can see from the sun there. So now I'm going to start edging it with the edging tool.
this is the I come over here the edged ground bed that I've put in um, you can see if I come over here you can see that bit in the middle just here that's where the the ground there's a slope here Maybe if I come in there you can see so it's not as deep there I don't know I've, I've just done it like that maybe I'll I'll deepen it tomorrow no I won't no I won't um, so that's our flower bed and then if just show you here we have our soft fruit bed in this edge bed I was going to do exactly the same as the others so I was going to fill it with compost that we got from Ealing riding stables but obviously currently we can't do that so I've decided to build it and um, or put it in place rather three thick layers of cardboard and then all of this soft fruit is going to remain in these tubs this year I think what I will do is I'll most probably paint these tubs white if I can get a whitewash that'll go on to these so that they're not black because obviously black attracts heat and that will mean that they'll get very hot so I want to paint those white if I can or put white paper around them so we have um, four just move up four tubs of um, raspberries these I need to pot up yet they're autumn bliss I think a black currant then a gooseberry and then a, another black currant I believe I, I was given this one I'm going to have to pause for a plane okay so yes that's a black currant I believe yes this is these are blueberries this is going to be our blueberry hedge and we have another blueberry which will go in that green tub there so um, I did I, I was intending to put the third one here though obviously that's not going to work so if I just step back a bit this area is sort of our is the shed our sort of seating area so I intend to do as I say black and um, blueberry there some more tubs along there but I'm really pleased with what I've done today really pleased it's um, this is the sort of final big structural element to to be done how we tackle the the flower bed I'm not sure whether we dig it over or whether we put cardboard down and plant through or whether we put pots on it for this year I'll discuss that through with Richard but yeah it's really shaping up now carrots and parsnips will be sown in this bed next week at the front and then we have some other things to come out from the polytunnel and go out but we are going to have a cold snap over the next few days so in about three or four days I think we'll be moving things from the polytunnel out here but still fleecing them if they need protection okay thank you very much for watching this episode gosh I'm so pleased let's come right back here so pleased to have finally got this done oh yeah and look in in the back there is the um cultivated blackberry as well that is going to train up here that will train up there i need to move that that shouldn't be there anymore it's just a marker for me whilst i put that in yeah wow really pleased time to go home have a cup of tea thanks very much for watching See you again very soon. Bye.